oh, how do we monetize something and always have a built-in audience? Well, we're gonna prey on that parasocial relationship. Hey all, it's Nim or Nimicry if you're feeling professional and welcome to the YouTube video. Now today we're gonna be talking about something I don't normally talk about on YouTube and that's Twitch, or more accurately, one of Twitch's new proposed features. Now Twitch has a problem with discoverability. They've decided that it's going to be pay to win. I'll go over that in a little bit, but before I do, you like this type of content or you like me personally, go on and click subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with everything the channel does. You can also follow me on Twitter. But without further ado, let's get started. In an article by VideoGamesChronicle.com, posted by Chris Scullion, Twitch will let viewers pay to advertise their favorite streamers. The new boost feature will charge viewers real money to increase a streamer's presence on the site. Twitch is adding a new feature that lets viewers pay money to advertise their favorite streamers on the site. The new boost feature gives viewers the options to buy a set number of boosts. Each boost will highlight the streamer's channel by adding it as a front page recommendation for another Twitch user. Reading from a prepared statement in Twitch's latest patch notes, Community Stream product manager Jacob Rosak stated that Twitch will be trialing the new feature with a select number of Twitch streamers. What we're doing with Boosts is giving viewers the ability to buy super high visibility promotions for their favorite creators, and these types of placements come with a cost, Rose said. All right, so pause for the cause. I've been streaming all day along with work, and so it's time to take some time off. Okay. You are literally just monetizing ad space, and instead of being like, hey, uh, companies, why not? You're just preying on your own community at that point. You're just being like, hey, guys, do you want to sell some hope to your favorite streamer? Oh, okay, we can do that. We can totally sell you some hope. We can totally get that person on the front page. Now, they don't say how long right there, and maybe they will later on in the article. Maybe, they'll be, maybe this will be a really awesome platform, an awesome program. Uh, at first brush, and based on what I've read about it, so far, and I've read a few things before this, uh, no, it just sounds like a cash grab. Like, oh, how do we monetize something and always have a built-in audience? Well, we're going to prey on that parasocial relationship that viewers have with streamers. And it happens. And it's not always bad. Parasocial relationships are not always bad. You can treat, that's why you feel comfortable listening to a podcast or watching a television show or being happy when the, the hero works out at the end of the episodic content. Oh, it's awesome. Because it's comforting, because it's known, because you want them to succeed, because you have that connection. Now, there are unhealthy parasocial connections, but that's not what we're talking about now. We're talking about this in the context of healthy parasocial connections of somebody who would send me a message and be like, Hey, Nim, Nim, look, I really like the stream. I think you should do better. Uh, I boosted you, you know, for whatever amount of dollars. Which is like, oh, thanks. I appreciate it. And they're like, no, no problem. I really like your stuff. You're really entertaining. So I figured we'll do that. So again, that's what we're talking about there. Now... We'll scroll down here. I don't care about that. We think it's a great way to show support. Further, we've heard directly from creators that it's hard to get their names out there. It's hard to try to utilize different forms of social media to grow their channels. And our hope is that this is a more direct way for a viewer to help a creator do that. It's no secret that viewers are here to support their creators. And we think that paying to help a creator grow their community will be wor worthwhile for their supporters. Okay. We think it's a great way to show support. Of course you do, because money is going into your pocket. I mean, yeah, of course you think that's great. That's like when the bank says, I can't afford a mortgage, so my rent is $1,800 a month or something. It's not actually $1,800 a month. I live in Ohio in a fairly cheap part, so it's not that much. But it's the same thing. The bank is very happy that I'm, I'm paying money. The bank, uh, or the car, if I buy a car, they're like, oh, we think it's a great way if you pay an extra $100 a month. Further, we've heard directly from creators that it's hard to get their names out there. Yes, it is hard to get their names out there. That's because there's no barrier to entry to streaming, and I, I think that's a good thing in general. There shouldn't be a barrier to entry. So that means everybody can do it. That means everybody's streaming, means everybody's launching links out there. And of course, I'm not worried about Johnny two viewers and one follow. Why? Because that's not who I am, and that's not where the arena that I fight in. But it can be very hard to climb out of that. I was fortunate in my early streaming career to be streaming with a World of Warcraft guild that attuned into my streams and helped me get some numbers early on that helped me build up some momentum. It's very kind. Parental Force, thank you, Larry and Rain and Cat and Dr. Pepper and all those people. Civvy. 
So thank you for that. Also, Mads. I want to thank Mads there. Anyways. It's no secret that viewers are here to support their creators. Of course, viewers are here to support their creators. That's why the monetization option is so insidious. Because again, you take viewer who be like, Hey, Nam, 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 uh, I really like your stuff. Oh, cool, thanks. And I boosted you. Oh, great. And Twitch pockets all that money. They're literally selling hope. So, Rosas... Rosak, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't care. I don't respect him enough to, to, care, to learn. Uh, also gave more details on how the boost process works. Boosts will only be purchable, purchable during a 10-minute period, during which time viewers will be able to buy as many boosts as they want. During the boost purchase period, community members can pay to make the boost as big as they'd like. Well, isn't that great? Limited time. So you better get all that money in there now, because you're not going to be able to do it later. You got to do it now. There's something called FOMO, fear of missing out. That's why Fortnite has a rotating storefront. That's why loot boxes go away. This is a terrible program. Each community member's purchase will add more front page recommendations for creators. We'll call out to the community who's made a purchase and show exactly how many recommendations the community has unlocked as the purchases roll in. Rose claimed that the decision to add boost functionality was based on a similar community challenge that took place last December, which resulted in over 100,000 streamers recommendations being purchased. Now, that's in quotes. It's not, it's, I wonder if it, doesn't, it didn't say it was purchased for money. You wouldn't say purchased if it was actually purchased transactional. As, as money, as we would understand this, you know, I, I put it on my PayPal, I put it on my credit card. Purchased. It might be with community challenges, it might be with other things there. However, these were instead purchased with channel points. Hey, what do you know? which are earned by participating on Twitch rather than real money. The notable difference this time is the viewers are now paying actual money to give their favorite streamers added exposure. Response to news was mainly negative on Twitch chat accompanying the stream, with some viewers referring to it as pay to win, and just saying it sounds like a cash grab. Boy, these people are, these people are bright. And then we have, uh, I think everything else is, is good there. So I think what's going to happen, we'll go, we'll go over a little bit of my final thoughts on this, and then we'll wrap up the video. I hope over the course of this video, I've made my disdain for this program clear. I hope it's absolutely crystal clear that this is a pay-to-win functionality where the rich get richer, the smaller creators continue to get pushed down, and yeah, they might be able to buy boosts for each other, their friends, you could have these little cabals working around, and yeah, they might get seen, but here's something that isn't mentioned in that article, and I'm going to mention this as, as a streamer. What's the retention? Hmm? Yeah, you can be on the front page, but if you're not interesting if you're not good if you're not polished if you're not something else some metric that people are looking for something they're gonna just walk right past you scroll right past you click on something else they're gonna go find their favorite creators the ones that they may boost and then what did your person do the person who boosted you got to help you feel oh yeah this is awesome without actually doing anything without actually growing the stream this is window dressing. This is like the, the JPEG of solidarity, where it's like, streamers, we care about you a lot. We did all these things to help you. No, you actually didn't. This doesn't do anything but line your own pockets. So I don't like this change. Now, listen, I'm not going to be vitriolic against anybody who disagrees with me in the comments below. If you happen to disagree, I will read it, and I'll respond in kind, and I'll try to be as appropriate as I can. I won't be adversarial or attacking. But I find this to be, again, it's a blatant cash grab, and as the article said, pay to win. So tell me what you think. And of course, guys, if you like this type of content, or you like me in general, go on and click subscribe. You can stay up to date with everything that the channel does. There will be a relaunching of the Patreon on Sunday. Uh, it's 9.30 right now, so I think that's October 3rd. We should have the Patreon back up, so if that's something you want to do, that'll be patreon.com slash Nimicry. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter at, at Nimicry. There's a link to the Discord below if you want to chat, and I try to stay up to date with that as much as possible. Right now, guys, I'm working two jobs and in school to become a clinical psychologist. So I may not always be around, but I do my best to create content. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I honestly hope you have a good day. Be safe, be kind, and I'll talk to you later.